This second one is for my Bridgerton girlies. You know, we must make haste. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Panda on Panda. It's your favorite and God's favorite. Don't you forget that. Don't you forget that. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm happy to be back today. I'm feeling energized. I love that I have new content coming in for you guys, and I'm going to have way more hauls, so just stay tuned. Me train me trying on sexy clothes, you know, for the girlies who are thick like me and want to go out and have a good time and look. So today, I'm going to be trying on sundresses. And where are these sundresses from? You know my favorite, Timu. Oopa doopa doop, Timu. Oh my God, they need to pay me for that. Because that's like kind of an intro or something. Because like, what if... Timu end up using my voice when they um go on to the site. It'd be like bump a dump dum Timu bump a dump a dum Timu. Oh yeah. Pay me my coins. Pay me my coins. All right, guys. Before we get into sundresses and stuff like that and me trying them on, I want to remind you guys to like, share, and subscribe my video and YouTube. Okay, don't be no hater. I feel energized when y'all are liking my stuff and commenting and like you guys are very more interactive and if there's something that you guys want to see from me you can always let me know in the comments just make sure they PG-13 because I ain't playing with y'all because y'all know I still don't play with y'all all right so let's get into these sundresses here we go Okay guys, this is the first one and this is probably my favorite one. So it ties in the back and for the girls who are big boob like me, it's gonna tie tighter if you just pull the strings and it really holds everything together. So this sundress is so cute and I feel like, you know, I feel like, let me cater to you cause baby, this is your day. You know, I feel very Beyonce-ish in this dress. So I really do feel like this dress, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Now it is a little bit see-through, but all my friends said that they couldn't see anything. So it's like, unless you're all up on me, it's not see-through. And I really think that this is a cute dress to wear to the beach or like even to a dinner. Yeah, like if it's the summertime dinner, especially outside dinner. I think it's very feminine. Um, let me show you guys what the back looks like one more time. It's tied. You decide how tight you want to make it. Um, it's a very comfortable dress. I don't feel like anything is going anywhere. So yeah, this is, this is a vibe for me. I'm definitely feeling it. All right, guys, let's move on to our next dress. Wait, before I want you guys to get the length. Okay, guys, getting the length. It's like so long, so um, you could also wear sandals with this, but you could also wear heels. There's a lot of different options with this dress, and this dress, if you can't tell, is brown. Super cute, makes me look slender. I absolutely adore this dress. That's one for Timu and a 10 out of 10 for a dress. All right, guys, moving on. This second one is for my Bridgerton girlies. You know, we must make haste. Um, yeah, I'm feeling very Bridgerton in this. Guys, these dresses are completely in and I 110% recommend them because I don't know, they're so cute and they're just like a staple to have in your wardrobe. Now, granted, for the top heavy girls and stuff, it is a little bracing, but ultimately I find this dress to be really, really pretty, really feminine, and you really can't go wrong with it. It's super cute and it really holds your figure if you have one, y'all. Y'all can't expect to try on these dresses and get the exact figure you want. That's not how life works, okay? That's not how life works, even if we want it to work like that. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how long this sundress is, but yeah, like I said, it's giving Bridgerton vibes. 
is giving Lord or Duke of Wellington's uh, mistress or his wife or something like that is giving Lady Danbury. Well, not Lady Danbury because she an old lady, but you know what I'm saying, okay? Y'all who watch Bridgerton, y'all know what I'm saying. But yeah, super cute. Once again, it gives, let me cater to you, baby, if it's just you. All right, so yeah, absolutely love this one. We're on to the next one. Once again, if Lady Danbury was a young coochie mama, this would really, really be giving. Okay, guys, it's definitely giving cater to you vibes again. Once again, guys, this type of sundress is super in. Um, as you can see, this one is a little bit shorter and it flares out at the end. For all my girlies who like, you know, a twist and twirl, it's very, very girly. And I like that. So it's a plus for me. But yeah, this is giving Lady Danbury and her like booty shaking years, you know, in her younger years, period. But yeah, and y'all know how much I love brown. It's kind of my staple color now. I think because I'm getting older, I can really appreciate the different colors of brown. And yeah, pretty much my nails are brown. So I'm really, really liking this dress. Um, it is not much for hold for the boob girls and stuff like that. So just tie these as tight as you can and move on because it's just not meant to be a form fitting dress anyway. Yeah. I will stop. Um, I like this dress. Again, 10 out of 10. Okay, so this next one is not as form-fitting as I wanted it to be, but it's still cute. And yeah, you can just wear this to the beach. It's not anything too heavy. Um, the material, eh, I'm in the middle of out and stuff, but I guess you can tell what type of material it is just by looking at it. Um, yeah, no, I don't hate this dress. It's cute. Um, and it goes halfway to my calves cheaper dresses for sure but it's still a great dress to have if you just want to throw something on and go outside and enjoy the summer day so yeah ultimately i i don't dislike ultimately it's it's still cute and um i would still wear i would give this dress i would give this dress a 6.5 out of 10 and I like the color. This royal blue is totally cute. You can't go wrong, really. All right. Next, okay, so this next dress is very similar to the last dress. It's cute, very simple design, a little bit wild, but it's the summertime, so you really, really have to try to use as many colors as you can. I myself am a neutral girly, but I don't want to be the only person wearing neutral colors. And like, sometimes you just need a pop of color. Once again, guys, this dress goes, well, this dress goes to the knees. I don't know why this dress is a little bit shorter than the, I mean, yeah, a little bit shorter than the other one, I think. I don't know. I think it was a little bit shorter, but either way, they're the same material. Um, I don't hate these dresses, honestly. I think I'm gonna get good wear out of them. They're comfortable. Um, the design is cute. Really no downsides to it so much. I will give this one a seven out of 10. A seven out of 10, yeah, we gonna go with that. Super cute. I like the colors. Um, yeah, I would definitely wear this, obviously to not anything serious, but you know, maybe a cookout and stuff. You know, people be throwing cookouts every week now, so gotta stay ready i want this dress to work so much honestly guys this dress is too small for me and i don't feel like it hugs in the shape in the way that it should um i can't really bend down with this dress i think i'm going to end up cutting it like right about here and letting it just be a tooth piece because it's not working as a onesie. So I'm definitely gonna let you guys know the size that I chose down here so that you can either choose up or down based on what you feel like you need. 
I'm about 170 and I'm five foot seven, okay? Five foot seven. So I think this is a I think it I think this is a medium, but um I'm gonna have to go back and check and either way it's going to be on in the description below so just stay tuned for that but yeah other than that i think it's such a cute design it has so much potential i absolutely love it it's just yeah it, it, it needs some work and i'm gonna cut it i think it's gonna be a two-piece for me personally but um yeah that is the last of my sundresses i'm gonna change back into regular clothes before we finish all right, guys, I'm back, and I hope you like that haul, that summer dress haul from Timu. There's a lot of great finds that I had in this one little haul, and I'm going to try to venture out into more expressive dresses and stuff like that, and even venture outside of Timu. I know I've done Sheen before, but honestly, I'm looking for styles, really cool styles that last super duper long, so that's what I'm going to be doing too, and also getting that sexiness for you guys and making sure that you know what's sexy this season so definitely stay tuned there's definitely gonna be more hauls and more story times coming up as well if you were wondering um i'm not really sure what you guys like more i guess i can tell by how much is watched on my videos and stuff like that but you know <coughs> let me know in the comments what y'all think i love you guys i'll see y'all later Bye.